Weather may be to blame for trouble that closed Palo Verde High School early today and sent trouble rippling through a long list of other TUSD schools. TUSD let students out at 11 this morning. A transformer went out in the middle of yesterday's storms, leaving almost three quarters of the school in the dark today. KGA 9 in your sides, Craig Smith is live at Palo Verde with more on the trouble. Well, guy, about 1,200 students go to Palo Verde on a regular day, but this was anything but a regular day. TUSD thought it could make the school day work, even with electrical and data problems, but finally decided the best thing to do was simply send the kids home. In a way, yesterday's rough weather led TUSD to send Palo Verde students home today. They went home because about three quarters of the school went dark and stayed dark after yesterday's storm knocked out a transformer. TUSD says the school was just too dark to be safe. A lot of the hallways do not have windows, and it was tough to safely move students through the school. By mid-morning, it was evident that we were beginning to see problems that, from a safety standpoint, it just, it just was better to just call it, dismiss the kids, even for just from a safety standpoint, and then we'll resume tomorrow again. Palo Verde's problems rippled out to other schools. It's the hub for the east side of TUSD's data network. So when Palo Verde's power went down, 30 other schools on the east side had trouble with their phones and their internet. They did have power, so they did stay open. Even before TUSD officially closed Palo Verde for the day, Georgia Brusso's husband asked her to go pick up the grandkids. She walked into a school office trying to do its best with a bad situation. Well, they were trying to call out and the phones weren't working. They were having trouble with the computers. They couldn't access the schedules, so they were having to look them up. And you've got a lot of high school students who will take advantage of any opportunity to escape, especially on a short day. Now, in the past few weeks, there have been some tensions and fights involving Palo Verde High School students, but the district says behavior was good and no one used the power problems as an opportunity to make trouble in those darkened halls. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.